That's better. A few years ago I read an article which shook up how I viewed nature, the outdoors, and the power that it has on mental health. Its very intriguing title was Nature Prescribed by GPs in Shetland. This is what Shetland looks like, by the way. Stunning. In this article, it stated there is overwhelming evidence that nature has health benefits for body and mind. It made me think about my relationship with the outdoors. Now, I grew up as quite an outdoorsy guy, with my childhood being made up of its fair share of camping trips and hikes. It was only until I reached my early adulthood where my priorities shifted a bit and I lost touch with nature ever so slightly. I started to realise that some of my fondest childhood memories revolved around these trips and getting lost in my imagination, uh, pretending to be an explorer discovering a new land or spotting a new species. A woodpecker digging up the insects from the bark of a tree. And drawing a terrible picture of it. But when you grow up, there's plenty of anxious thoughts and stresses that are thrown your way and you lose touch of certain things that make you feel happy. When I was a child, I never analyzed the impact that nature had on me and I didn't even know what mental health was, to be honest. I just thought a walk in the forest equals me being Robin Hood. I didn't look into it that much, but it made me happy. So when I realised that so much joy came from these activities as a child, I didn't want it to fizzle out again. And I'm not saying uh, I'm going to go run in the forest and dress up in a green tunic and shoot a bow and arrow. This was all happening around the same time as I read that article that I mentioned. So from then on, I was consciously thinking about spending time with nature and I started putting some steps into action to ensure that I would get out as much as possible. So that meant the return of hiking trips getting in a tent and going camping, and actually a big one was getting a National Trust membership. Now this was particularly clever because I'm quite stingy with money, so when I spend money on a membership, I'm gonna make sure I make the most of it. So I was out all the time going to these National Trust sites all around us. And when I went outdoors, I would make sure I'd cherish the moment, soak up as much of it as I can, and certainly not take it for granted. So, going back, as the article said, there is overwhelming evidence that nature has health benefits for both the body and the mind. And they're right, there are a lot. In the study, Restorative Effects of Natural Environment Experiences, participants were asked to do a cognitive task which is designed to mentally strain them. They were each then randomly assigned some time to be spent in one of three conditions. One, walking through a nature reserve. Two, walking through an urban environment. And three, sitting quietly and reading a book while listening to some music. Those who walked in the nature reserve reported less anger and experienced much more positive emotions. In a similar study by MIND, a mental health charity, they found that uh, a walk in nature reduced symptoms of depression in 71% of participants in comparison to 45% of those walking through a shopping centre. And 90% had an increase in self-esteem after walking through the nature reserve in comparison to the 45% who actually said they had a decrease in self-esteem whilst window shopping in the shopping centre. Some studies have shown that even a glimpse of nature, whether that's out of a window or just looking at a photograph of the countryside, can boost someone's mood, improve their mental health, like one by Roger Ulrich, which found that heart surgery patients in intensive care units were able to reduce their anxiety levels and also the, reduce the need for pain medication just by looking at photographs of trees and water. And there's loads more studies out there showing that nature can boost mental health. But if you don't want to take my word for it, just know that David Attenborough agrees too. He said connecting to the natural world helps in the healing process. <laughs> helps in the healing process. Help, helps, helps. Oh, I can't do it, it's too mean to David. He said, connecting to the natural world helps in the healing process and helps to bring happiness, confidence, and relaxation. That wasn't bad. 
The point is, you don't want to disappoint David. It's like punching Father Christmas in the face. <laughs> oh my god. So whether you're just having a rough week, or you're feeling quite claustrophobic in this urban bubble you live in, or you're just one of the one in four people in the UK who suffers from mental health problems every year, we're surrounded by natural beauty, so it might just be worth a shot. Now everyone's relationship with nature is unique. Some people find their purpose bombing down on their mountain bike and getting filthy in the process, whilst others like finding a secluded part of the forest for them to roll out their yoga book. But whatever you want to do to connect with nature, just you do you. Do whatever it takes to find that inner peace. Unless that means dressing up in a red uniform, jumping on a horse, blowing a bugle and shooting innocent foxes. You bastards. Anyway, for me it's just walking. That's it. Somewhere green, open, quiet, with only the sounds of the trees and the birds. It's sharing that experience with my girlfriend, who also loves walking. For me, the ideal location is like the Alps and the mountains or something like that. I'm more of a mountain guy myself, whereas she's more of a forest girl. <laughs> that sounds like some really bad rom-com spin-off from Lord of the Rings that got binned really quickly. I'll probably still watch that actually. <laughs> anyway, when I'm there, I just feel a million times better. Uh, either that's just not thinking about all the stresses and anxieties of the world, or on the other hand, sometimes it's the perfect setting to finally unload all those thoughts and feelings with Amy. And I would not be able to do this if I was just sat at home scrolling through Instagram or mentally scrolling through the worries in my head. So poetic. <laughs> Alright, to finish off, some arguments that some people may have to not get involved in nature and why they're BS. I mean, uh, some friendly advice to help. There's no green space near me. Okay, fair enough, for some people they live in urban environments, but you don't need to get to the Lake District or the Highlands to experience nature. Sometimes just a local park will do. I suggest checking out Ordnance Survey Map's website, which shows all the green spaces near you. Um, but also, see if there's any National Trust places near you or wildlife trusts. Um, you might be surprised. They're dotted all over the country. Getting lost. I mean, if you're a rookie, I doubt you'll be walking in areas which require like complex navigation. But just know that if you're not a good map reader, or you don't have a map, there's loads of apps out there which show walking routes and have location trackers in them, so you won't get lost. But in the off chance that you do, just know that's a part of the fun of it. And we live in the UK, I mean, if you just walk in one direction for 10 minutes, you'll bump into a dog walker. I don't have the right gear. Look, my mate Lewis climbed up off the seat in his vans when it was lashing down with rain, and he lived to tell the tale. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite recommend this, but you'd be surprised, like, you just need a comfy pair of trainers, and then if you get more into walking and walking, then build up to those walking boots, but that shouldn't be a barrier. I don't like walking or exercise. That's okay, it doesn't need to be walking. For me personally it is, but for you it can be painting outdoors, gardening, fishing, or even just reading a book on a bench in a park. I'm not a nature nerd. Look, I know nothing about birds, trees, names of rocks, and here's your proof. Parrot, cactus, big. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Maybe one day you'll learn if you throw yourself into it a bit more, but if not, who cares? Alright, yeah, that's about it. So stop watching videos now and go outside. Yeah, don't, don't, don't click on that link. Don't click on that one. Actually, maybe click on that one. Yeah, that's a good one, go for it. But then, go for a walk. <laughs>